good morning dear students in this class we'll talk about acceleration acceleration is positive acceleration is negative acceleration is zero uh, if it is a xt graph in case of xt graphs where concave upward acceleration positive concave downwards acceleration negative and acceleration equal to zero when you have a linear graph let me discuss all the three graphs yes acceleration will be it will be positive it will be negative and it will be zero all the three we'll discuss one by one let me start with the first one it is called xt graph and we do have positive acceleration now the third graph is as i said acceleration zero all the three graphs are meaningful graphs they are all xt graphs x t then again you have a time axis x axis again time axis position time so all these graphs are xt graphs so acceleration is positive it is concave upward so such graphs are called concave upward you can say acceleration positive concave downwards acceleration negative now you have a linear slope where acceleration equal to zero so here velocity this is xt graph velocity constant when you have velocity constant acceleration is zero this is a easy graph because velocity means slope velocity means slope slope is constant this is 0 1 2 3 4 this is time axis time is measured in second here also time is measured in second here also time is measured in second this is measured in meter measured in meter measured in meter do remember i am talking about acceleration acceleration is defined as average acceleration it is final velocity minus initial velocity upon change in the time interval or instantaneous acceleration is called to limit of average acceleration as delta t tends to zero or which is equivalent to dx sorry dv upon dt acceleration means instantaneous acceleration instantaneous acceleration is limit of average acceleration as delta t tends to zero or acceleration equal to rate of change of velocity this is the mathematical relation now when the curve this is motion of this is called xt graph motion of a car when i say motion of an object motion of a car or an object motion of car then it is called xt graph so in xt graph if the curve is concave upward the acceleration is positive if the in case of motion of a car if it is concave downward so it is acceleration is negative and if it is xt graph if it is moving with of course you can uh, talk about it it covers equal intervals and equal interval of time that is where velocity remains constant it is called uniform motion this is called uniform motion graph when the object undergoes uniform motion velocity is constant it covers equal distances in equal interval of time in a particular direction hence acceleration becomes zero velocity velocity constant means slope constant hence acceleration equal to zero yes we learned that acceleration is positive when curve is concave upward curve upward curve upward means positive 
curve downward means negative curve downward acceleration is negative now we'll check how acceleration is zero let me start here take this is time axis 1 second 2 second 3 second 4 second 5 second let me take 1 meter 2 meter 3 meter 4 5 6 7 8 9 now take this point as a reference it it goes and meets here 1 2 3 let me write 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so your x1 is equal to 7 t1 equal to this correspond sorry here let me start here this is yes let me start this is starting point the object starts from here x1 equal to 2 because starting is here this is x1 corresponding time is 1 second similarly x2 x2 equal to it corresponds 7 and the time interval i can take 3 second t2 equal to 3 second now my velocity formula for this the slope means velocity slope equal to velocity velocity equal to x2 minus x1 divided by t2 minus t1 what is x2 7 what is x1 2 so divided by t2 minus t1 3 minus 1 we'll get a value it is 5 by 2 So what is five by two? You take slope here, you take slope here, or you take the big slope which I have taken, which is the slope is going to be five by two here. Slope is equal to five by two, which is going to be constant, and this slope is going to be your velocity. Slope is five by two, and whether you take the slope this region x one. X two, the whole region, or you take a small region. Anywhere you take the slope, slope means x upon time, that is delta x upon delta t. Slope remains constant. Once slope is constant, what is your acceleration? Acceleration is defined as dv upon dt. Once this v is constant, it becomes dy dt inside a bracket constant. Differentiation of a constant gives you acceleration is equal to zero so i repeat acceleration equal to zero because it's a xt graph for xt graph such linear line gives you slope slope equal to some value that value is always constant whether i take the small slope or a big area slope remains constant slope means velocity acceleration means rate of change of velocity rate of change of velocity means velocity is constant hence acceleration equal to zero i mean to say acceleration can acquire positive value concave upward acceleration acquires negative value concave downward and acceleration is zero when the slope is linear in top on means for xt graphs we are discussing xt graph your acceleration is positive negative and zero uh in this continuation process we are talking about acceleration where this is velocity axis this is time axis i can write it as velocity time velocity time positive velocity from here it is positive velocity here downward negative velocity from here positive velocity anything above positive velocity anything down negative velocity you can have both everywhere it is time axis time axis time axis time means it is called velocity time graph with constant acceleration what do you mean by constant acceleration means acceleration value is fixed whenever you have a velocity time graph if the slope is constant it is called velocity time graph with constant acceleration i repeat whenever you have a velocity time graph with constant acceleration means let me take a graph this is velocity this is time you you take a slope here you take a slope here you take a slope here slope is going to be constant and this constant is acceleration so hence we say velocity time graph with constant acceleration this is one graph instead of this graph you have something like this again velocity time graph if it is like this or if it is like this so this is also a same means slope is constant 
it is decreasing it is also decreasing slopes you take slope anywhere the slope remains constant once the slope for velocity time graph is calculated if the slope is constant such graphs are called velocity time graphs with constant acceleration let me continue now in this case let me go with the first one what is the first one let me start here so this is a initial velocity and if i take a dotted line it becomes a final velocity so here i can say uh, let me discuss it later let me start the second graph this is initial velocity v not and of course this is your final velocity the two graphs i have taken the first one is this is initial velocity i can say positive direction positive direction and acceleration positive acceleration also positive what is positive direction let me take a line take for example you have a line like this it is o this is q this is p i hope you remember we had a car moves along positive x direction this whole direction is taken as positive x axis this whole direction is taken as minus x axis where we have taken r located r at minus 120 meter this is 240 meter this is 3 q is 360 meter if car moves from o to p if it moves o to p it is called positive x direction car is moving in positive x direction if it moves with uniform motion what is uniform motion if it covers equal intervals in equal interval of time so of course it's a velocity diagram here my acceleration is constant it is moving speeding up but what is your velocity your velocity is changing hence you have a graph so velocity versus time graph gives you acceleration here acceleration is constant finally what is the understanding of this graph the object is moving in positive x direction positive x direction same time acceleration is acceleration is positive here in this case object is moving in positive direction again object is moving in positive direction but its acceleration is negative so you can think of why it is negative when i go for a slope take for example positive acceleration you have a, of course this acceleration is constant this if i take a slope slope is constant slope is constant slope constant positive that's why acceleration positive slope constant but negative why negative let me take a value here if this is velocity i can say 1 meter 2 meter 3 meter per second 4 meter 5 meter 6 meter if this is 6 meter if v not equal to 6 and v equal to 1 meter per second and this time corresponds to 5 second this initial time corresponds to zero i can say now let me put it mathematically here let me raise it and i will show you t1 equal to 0 t2 equal to 5 second when t1 was 0 the object was with velocity initial v1 equal to v0 and v2 equal to v v equal to let you call it as v0 on a scale is going to be 5 meter per second and it is 1 meter per second when you put into acceleration formula what is acceleration formula a equal into v2 minus v1 v2 minus v1 means v minus v0 it is 1 minus 5 Take it out. V two minus V one means V minus V naught means one minus five. One minus five. In the denominator, T two minus T one five minus zero. So finally, answer becomes. You have a simple analysis. It is equal to minus four divided by five. Hence, your acceleration is constant but negative. I hope you got it. Positive acceleration, positive direction. Positive direction, negative acceleration. I repeat. positive direction positive acceleration positive direction negative acceleration yes this was a graph when brakes are applied when brakes are applied the car is moving in a forward direction but its acceleration is constant but negative yes the remaining two graphs the object is moving in negative x direction and it is moving with negative acceleration let me have the graph here all these graphs this is initial velocity which is already negative and this is final velocity 
again, which is also negative, call it as V. This whole axis is negative. From here, it's a positive velocity. It is called positive velocity. It is called negative velocity. And this corresponds a time. You can put it time. This is time, final time. This is initial time. When time was zero, velocity was minus V naught, like minus zero, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven, minus eight. So when you take minus eight, again, you put into a formula, A equal to minus eight, minus, minus of minus two, time you take it as five minus zero. This is starting time. So it becomes minus eight plus two in the denominator five, you can have the value, it becomes minus six by five. What is the acceleration? Negative. I can say direction negative. Direction is negative. The object is moving in a negative x direction and acceleration is also negative. I hope it's very clear. Acceleration equal to minus eight. Why minus eight? This is direction is negative. Anything above this positive direction, anything above positive direction, anything below negative direction, yes. Negative direction, but what is acceleration? Acceleration is minus eight. This is called initial velocity. This is called final velocity. Initial velocity is minus two on a scale, minus one, minus two, minus three. Final velocity is, I can take it as a rough value, minus eight, like minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus one, minus eight. Minus eight, minus of minus two, it becomes plus two. So finally, what is time? Time is zero here. And here you can take it as five second like one second, two second, three second, four second, five second. Five minus zero, it becomes minus velocity. Next, the last, last case. This is zero time, anything above positive velocity, anything below negative velocity, zero time, this is T1, and take this, this uh, end point, it is T2. Means from zero to T1, the car moves in positive direction. From T1 to T2, T1 to T2, this is zero to T1 means time interval. From zero to T1, time interval, when the car is moving from O to P, it is positive X direction. From P to Q, reverses back, it is called T1 to T2. It is negative. Negative means negative. From this curve from here to a positive direction means this interval is positive direction. This interval is negative, it is negative. When it comes to velocity, it is V naught. And of course, this final velocity is here. You have two things. And again, your whole acceleration is, do the mathematics, it is negative. Whether you talk acceleration in this region or you talk acceleration in this region, the acceleration is constant, but negative. The slope of this is acceleration. Acceleration is constant, but negative. Acceleration is constant, but negative. Whereas direction in this interval, zero to T1, 0 to T1, positive direction. T1 to T2, sorry, it should be T1 to T2, its direction is negative. I made a point. There are four graphs, positive direction, positive acceleration, positive direction. This is called positive direction. Positive direction, acceleration, negative. Again here, negative direction, negative acceleration. Positive direction, negative acceleration. Negative direction, negative acceleration. Do remember, or I can say positive direction, negative acceleration. Negative direction, negative acceleration. This is called, that's why I said negative direction, negative acceleration. Here, positive direction, negative. This graph and this graph are put it here in the form of two things. What it means, the car starts from O, it goes up to P, positive X direction. Then it reverses back to Q, that is called negative direction, positive direction, negative direction, negative acceleration, negative acceleration. This completes velocity time graph. Positive acceleration, positive direction.